Right, uh, today I want to try and make myself a table lamp. I just bought this from B&Q. This is um, eight millimeter thick chain. I don't know what that length is, but uh, 60 millimeters or something like that. The plan is, is to weld these into a particular fashion and turn it into a table lamp. So, uh, the idea I've got in my mind, and they never come out the way I initially uh, have in my head, but I kind of want a sort of a round base, and that will be all chain. And then I kind of want to come up here. as a sort of swan neck all with the chain again then there'll be a little pendant holder and a light bulb so that's the idea so the trickiest part of that for me is uh, setting up the chain so that it's in this shape so that I can weld it. So trying to do it like this, just sort of putting it on the table um, might be a bit tricky. And I've just got to work out how I'm going to do that because if I try to do it like this, I'm welding it's sort of likely to move about. So I'll either make up a wooden template or maybe just a series of screws to hold it in place actually screws do sound like possibly the easiest way so this is the idea i've come up with i've just put that there to cover it up for now so i've got the swan neck coming round um i've gone and grabbed the light holder and the bulb and put it in place to sort of see roughly where it would hang in relation to the neck so once I've welded all this up and that will come down and eventually will come this circle once I've welded this last bit then I can stand it up weld this circle round and then weld it all together so that the whole thing will stand up um, with a swan neck effect so that's what I'm going for and um, <clears throat> I think I'm going to have a go with screwing the chain um, into the table so that I can hold it in place. I'll try that out and see how we get along. Right, um, this just arrived in the post today and I've wanted one of these for ages. Uh, just been waiting for them to become cheap enough really and I don't do that much welding to sort of warrant it buy one before but I think this was about 35 quid off of Amazon and um, the really good thing about these is is that you can literally wear it like that and I can see everything around me at the moment and as soon as I uh, get the MIG, the MIG welding this turns to black and it doesn't blind you and you get sandy eyes like I've had that before it's horrible um, and it's much better than this old crappy thing which um, you kind of got to hold the welder and hold this at the same time and keep moving it and every time sometimes you time it wrong and um, instead of moving it to your face when you weld you're sort of moving it away from your felt from your face and then you're blinded for like five minutes so yeah so I'm looking forward to trying that out so before I begin, um, I'm not a welder, I've just, I've had a welding machine for a little while now and uh, I've never really been, well, never been taught full stop. So what I do is just my own way of doing it. I get the end result, it might not be as tidy as some of you professionals, um, so don't slag me off in the comments section please. Thank you. 
Right, so I've finished the welding. Not the cleanest thing in the world, I know, but by the time I finish all this off and um, clean it up, I'm sure it'll be fine. Made a total mess of my um, little workbench, but ain't got a problem with that. So the next step is to decide how I'm going to go about making that circle and stand this whole thing up so the circle becomes the base. There's the swan neck, how I wanted it. So the next thing will be making a circle, however I decide to do it. Or maybe not quite a circle. Yeah. Maybe even a heart shape. Actually that looks quite nice. And get that to stand up like that. So I've had an idea. I've tied a bit of string to the roof of my workshop there and if I can tighten this up to where I want it that will keep it standing while I'm working I think the important thing is sort of finding where that centre of gravity is to keep it from keeling over like a dead swan. Two bits of string, one holding it upright and one holding it in a position. So now all I've got to do is set this to where I want it. And I'm going to go for the heart shape now, it just looks nicer. Okay, after 20 minutes of messing around trying to get this right, I've opted for this heart shaped design for the bottom and I've got that all screwed in now. I've got the swan neck sort of, or even a question mark in it, um, hanging there at the moment and I will properly position that in at the last moment so I won't weld the last link in until I decide exactly where I want to position the top part.
There you go. Completely unsupported. And it is standing up on its own. Right, so there it is. Um, all welded up. Needs a good clean up, but nice and strong. Um, not quite a swan neck as I was hoping for, more more like question mark, but um, I think it still looked pretty once I painted it. So that'll be the next stage. Welding actually didn't come out too bad at all. I had it on some good settings, which I managed to uh, work out. So uh, yeah, this is going to last forever. Alright, so I've uh, spent about an hour tidying it up and cleaning it up, grinding little bits of weld off, but as I say, I've got the weld quite well in the end. Um, and it's sort of wire brushed it, and when I've read a little bit with scotch pad, scotch pad to get rid of the uh, fumes or the smoke from around the chain links and whatever, and it's all nice and clean. So I've just hung it up on a piece of string and um, using this um, well, bright gold metallic finish over it. So here it is, uh, now it's all painted up and the finish looks really nice. I'll give you a bit of a close up as I bump into my table saw. Yeah, a really good um, gold finish. See. Looks like one of those heavy chains that them wrappers wear. Maybe a wrapper might want to buy this. So all that leaves me now is to wire the lamp up. I've got some of this uh, cloth twisted rope uh, cable wire, whatever you want to call it. Got a screw cap or E27 um, light fitting and a little switch for it as well. Now I did buy some bulbs before I started this project, which is this particular one. It's quite hard to get it on camera but let's see if we can do it now uh, it's quite hard to see but it's got a nice filament inside it the only thing is I feel that this might be too small for this lamp <coughs> so um, I have got in my mind this up here which is from a light that never got used and uh, I might use that one because that's quite large and that will give it the effect that I want. Hanging on there I reckon it should be sort of quite a big should be quite a big bulb really because the frame is quite large. Right so paint has dried and I'm about to thread this uh, flex through now. Maybe an idea to get a rough idea how much I need. It'll be about up to there. Right. So there, that done. Next thing is to connect this. I think uh, this bit perhaps goes on first. Um, this bit I think might go 
Now maybe it goes around this way. Yeah, and that tightened the cord. So let's get them in there ready. Trim off the end of the wires. Go through there, which it will just leave it up there for now. Screws into the top of the fitting, and then when this bit comes down. It tightens up the wire and stops it from pulling. Right, now I think I want that up a little bit higher, so I'll just double back with the cord. And now, so I've got this uh, little switch here, which has got four screws on the back. Which seems overkill for this, really. Alright, so I'm going to cut the wire about here. I just got to decide how much cord I want to leave on this. about that much find a plug pretty nice my only complaint at the moment is I think the light might be a little bit small for this large thing uh, which I thought it might be but No bulbs in here. No, it's just a bloody light picking. So yeah, I'll just have to stay like that for now. And what I'll do is I'll go to the shop and get myself something a little bit nicer, a little bit more bigger. But and there you go. Don't look so great um, in the daytime, I suppose, but. Uh, it is a good looking light, it's unusual. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, don't slag me off in the comments. Thank you.